Warning. The following video contains hunting and shooting that's educational in nature, but may be offensive to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. Before we get back to the show, we thought it would be a good idea to stop for a moment and warn you about what's coming up. Some of the footage of this hog hunt may be a bit much for some members of the audience. You see, these dogs don't just bay up the hogs they're chasing. If the hunters don't get there right away, the dogs will charge in and start attacking the hog. It's just like in the wild when pack animals catch up with their prey. They go in for the kill. It makes for some pretty exciting action and for some pretty graphic footage. So please use your own discretion. Boy, you know they've got to use these tanks to water in, don't they? You bet. You bet. Let's pull up here and we'll stop it and put some dogs out. But you're not going to take them all right now? No, we're just going to take part of them. Okay. And uh, if they find a hog, we'll turn the other ones into them. Okay, let's go. Come on, guys, get after it. Get the dogs and we'll walk back in this wolf weed back off the back of this tank. And uh, there ought to be some hogs laying up in it or maybe back up that draw. Let's go, Sadie. A one-eyed dog. What happened to her eye? When she was a puppy, she got a thorn stuck in it. And uh, she stayed at the vet for about, oh, I don't know, three weeks or so. And it didn't get any, but it got worse. And the infection set in, so we told him to take the eye out. She's hunting. Something's going on. She just doesn't know where they, where or what's going on. The dogs will drift in and out while we're walking, and we'll see them, you know, randomly, but you won't see any all the time. And when they all leave and everything gets quiet, something's going on. Boy, look at her right there. Yeah. She's just looking and waiting. I can't stand it. I can see fish popping around here. I'm going to put a little top water on or something and catch a fish right quick, I'm waiting for those dogs. This is what they call being armed. With the, with the serious stuff to catch fish. A 357 sidearm. <laughs> Y'all messing up my fishing water. There they go. All right, it's time to get. Goodness gracious. Keith, we got another hog, we gotta go. <laughs> Man, now we gotta run for that. That's a good way to get you in shape. Yeah, in this, in this heat, the way it is today, well, let's go. Man, I don't see a big snake out here. Come on, come on, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Listen, 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 listen. Here's, 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 come on, come on. Hold on. Man, man. don't fall in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Look right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. All right, all right. Good shot, good Look shot. This is it's a young little boar here. A little About 80 one. pounds. That's good. good shot too, man. I can't think you could have put it any better right in the head. I'm telling you, I, I don't know who's tired of the dogs or me. <laughs> let's sit him down right here. Let's go get the truck. All right, let's do it. Ooh, here comes one of our guys right here. Come on, pup. Come yeah. Come on. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Come here. Come here. All right. All right. Come on. Good job. That one back around on you. Double back on you, boy. We took care of it. There's more hog hunting action coming up. Stay tuned.
All right, Marquille, what are we gonna these, do? These dogs smell some hogs in here, so we're gonna make a little loop right on this side of the thicket. The wind's coming this way, we'll work the top side of it and circle around. We don't pick up anything, we'll move to the other side. Okay. Won't take us too long, we'll see if we can catch one. Right. Come on, boys. Go, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and stay put and let y'all get in there. I'm gonna listen. When I hear them get those hogs bayed, that's when I'll get in there. Come on, boys. Come on, preach. Get preach. We say preach. Get him, son. Hang on just a minute. Let's see what they're doing. Get him, boys. Get him, preach. Smell a bullhog, John boy. <laughs> when we come through, while well, I go over there, you smell that boarhog. The, the smell that was strong smell was a boarhog. Well, these dogs, because they're tired and, and that hog's fresh, they may stop him and he break on them two or three times before they can control him and get enough dogs there to hold him. So I would imagine that's what they got. The hog, see the black spot, he can't seem good. He's in a brush on the bank. Good hog. See him over? I gotta kill a hog. did this right here. Those well, small hogs get big and the bigger hogs make bigger holes and we got a real big problem with the Multiplying and multiplying. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. Here's, hey, look here. Look at that I'll be doggone, look at that. Now you know why they call it the Apache Ranch. Take it home to your little boy. Thank you. We're down in Eagle Pass, Texas. We're gonna be going on a dove hunt. Now, as you can see, I'm joined by my wife, Debbie, and by a dog by the name of Chigger. Now, Chigger belongs to Mike Divin, and Mike is the host of this trip. Now, Mike has gone to play some other dove hunters out on the other side of this field. We have the Rio Grande River about 200 yards away from us, and every